Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at a great Google Forms add-on called Check It Out. Earlier this week, I wrote a blog post about it, and a few people have asked me for a little bit more guidance on how to use it. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll hit New, and we're going to select Forms. And I'm going to leave my form open to anyone. I'll just title my form. Let's say we're going to do iPad checkout check-in. I'll give my students a little reminder. Please look at the label on your iPad to see which number you have. And now my first question here is going to be name. So I want people to write down who took what. And I can also add a field for email if I want to. If I want to send an email reminder when something is due, I can add that as well. But I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm just going to say, go up to the add-ons now. And we'll hit check it out. We'll say add edit question set. And over here on the right, we're going to put in the title of the material that we're going to be checking in or checking out. So we're going to say iPads. We can set it up to use checkboxes, a list, or multiple choice. I'm going to use checkboxes. And this field here, uh, the checkout empty text, this is what will appear when all items have been checked out. And this is what will appear when all items have been checked in. It will say all items checked in. Now you can change that if you want to, uh, but I think the default is just fine. Let's go ahead and add that. And now we have a checkout iPad, check-in iPad. So what we need to do now is set up our list of items that are going to be checked out. So let's hit the edit button and list our iPad. So I have iPad 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4. You could put as many items as you want in that list. I'm going to say done. And the check in field, I'm going to leave blank. And we'll see why in just a second. So there's my form. Let's go ahead and see how it looks on the web. So a student comes along, puts in his or her name. They're going to check out iPad 2 and submit. And when this refreshes over here, you'll notice that iPad 2 has moved from check out iPad to check in iPad. Let's view the form again. Another student comes along to check something out. And we'll call that student Bobby. Bobby comes in and she has iPad 4 and submits. We'll refresh this one more time. And now we can see that iPad 1 and 3 are only available to check out at this point. Now over here, as the owner of this form, I can view the responses and I can see in my spreadsheet that Max has iPad 2 and Bobby has iPad 4. Uh, if I had added a field for email, I could even put in uh, their email addresses so I can remember to send them a reminder when something is due again. So. That's how you can create a simple check-in, check-out system using Check It Out for Google Forms. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.